Imagine getting paid just for sharing your thoughts on products and services you use every day. With Survey Junkie, it's that simple. Click on the link in the video description to discover how you can start earning today by taking surveys. JK Rowling has mocked Just Stop Oil after its eco-fanatics targeted Stonehenge with orange powder paint, claiming that the group is funded by Big Oil. Members of the public tried to intervene, struggling with campaigners Rajan Naidu, 73, and Neve Lynch, 21, as they ran up to the ancient monument yesterday. Video footage showed two people wearing white shirts with the slogan Just Stop Oil, approaching the stone circle with canisters and spraying orange powder paint. The group later said of the attack, the orange corn floor we used will soon wash away with the rain, but the urgent need for effective government action to mitigate the catastrophic consequences of the climate and ecological crisis will not. But Harry Potter author Rowling reposted this on X, adding, public opinions definitely moving, mostly towards the conclusion that you're funded by big oil. Another X user then replied to Rowling's post, saying, I don't understand why they thought this would win anybody over. And Rowling added, let's not target anyone or anything remotely responsible for climate change. Let's attack a unique ancient monument to which everyone's hugely attached, incidentally endangering rare lichen that only grows there. It comes after Prime Minister Rishi Sunak described it as a disgraceful act of vandalism to one of the UK's and the world's oldest and most important monuments, while Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer branded the group pathetic. In a reference to green energy entrepreneur Dale Vince, Mr. Sunak added, Just Stop Oil should be ashamed of their activists, and they and anyone associated with them, including a certain Labour Party donor, should issue a condemnation of this shameful act immediately. Mr. Vince's ecotricity firm gave Labour £1.5 million according to the Electoral Commission data for the first quarter of 2024. The Green Energy Industrialist also reportedly gave another £1 million to the opposition party the day after the general election was called, taking his total donations to £5 million. He has previously donated to Just Stop Oil, although last year he said he was diverting his funding to a campaign to encourage voter registration. However, Mr. Vince stated that he did not support yesterday's protest. He said, since Rishi Sunak has asked me personally to comment, I will. I don't support what JSO did today, it's that simple. But there are far worse actions we could focus on, far more harmful ones, like pushing 2 million children and their families into poverty. This is what Sunak and the Conservatives have done with their two-child cap on benefits. One in three of our children now live in poverty in our country. That's my definition of a shameful act, and one deserving of all our condemnation, it has mine. Sir Keir said, the damage done to Stonehenge is outrageous. Just stop oil are pathetic. Those responsible must face the full force of the law. But Energy Secretary Claire Coutinho accused Labour of faux outrage at Just Stop Oil and claimed the opposition's net zero policy had been dictated by fanatics in the environmental protest group. Conservative Minister Simon Hort joined the chorus of criticism, saying, the full weight of the law is needed. I would incarcerate them on an old oil rig. And fellow Tory Alex Stafford said, It's absolutely disgusting. These mindless vandals have no appreciation for our history and heritage. All they can do is destroy rather than create. Nick Kendrick, 55, who has been a Stonehenge tour guide for more than 30 years, said, There are 79 different species of lichen which grow on those rocks. These lichen are alive and help protect the stone and they will definitely have been harmed by this idiotic stunt. Wiltshire police said officers had attended the scene and arrested two people. A spokesman for the force said, At around noon, we responded to a report that orange paint had been sprayed on some of the stones by two suspects. Officers attended the scene and arrested two people on suspicion of damaging the ancient monument. Our inquiries are ongoing, and we are working closely with English Heritage. English Heritage Chief Executive Dr. Nick Merriman said this morning that there appeared to be no visible damage to Stonehenge. Dr. Merriman told BBC Radio 4's Today program, It's difficult to understand and we're deeply saddened about this vandalism, but we've been really.